Hey, what's happening, people? Everybody's talking about the uh, Viltrox 13mm lens, and uh, they say it's uh, the best lens for Fuji. I'm having the 14mm um, f2.8 from Fuji for a long time, and um, I got the, the Viltrox, and I want to try to compare it to see if it's true or it's just uh, one of these uh, internet hype. These lenses are very close in a, on a focal length, uh, the difference is just the uh, aperture uh, with Veltrox being 1.4 and the Fuji is uh, 2.8. The whole thing is the Viltrox lens is double the weight and double the, uh, the size of the Fuji lens. But the Fuji lens is just double the price. I want to see how they uh, compare uh, for what I'm using these lenses. Mostly, I'm using the, the wide angles for landscape or interior shots for architecture and also I like the uh, close-up portraits uh, with these lenses to include some of the environment uh, on the background. My first uh, uh, test shot was of this uh, Buddha uh, statue that I have with the little Buddha and, and you can see uh, the Fuji lens on the left. Uh, Right off the bat, it rendered a little bit warmer than the, the Viltrox, and that was throughout my uh, testing. The Viltrox was a, a, a render with a cooler color, and the Fuji was a warmer color. As you see on this uh, close-up uh, of the Little Buddha, everything, the edges are sharp, everything looks uh, fine on both images, but the micro contrast on uh, Fuji, you know, it's still there and uh, it gives the, the pictures uh, a 3D look, which I really uh, like. I did also a quick uh, uh, testing with uh, Dennis um, to see, you know, how uh, the Viltrox will uh, render the skin tones. You know, the Fuji uh, cameras and Fuji system is great for uh, the, the skin tones. and. I like, and sometimes I like to use the um, wide-angle lenses for portraits uh, to include the environment in the, uh, in the background. And also I like the little distortion and give a little bit more uh, artsy look and uh, diversity uh, in, the, in the picture. And uh, as you can see from uh, these pictures, it's, um, both lenses uh, uh, are great you know, for a situation like this where you want to do an, uh, a portrait how long you're going to keep your uh, subject in the middle, the, the head of the subject in the middle, so it doesn't get uh, too much distortion. And I think the skin toners are good, everything, you know, and you don't see because it's uh, not a flat subject. You're shooting uh, um, a, a person, it's a 3D object, and you don't see, you know, like they have the, the edges have a nice um, uh, fallout. I took the lenses uh, outside to see how uh, they compare on the uh, sunny lit uh, situation and uh, as you can see the same uh, um, comments will apply for this outdoor shoot with the Fuji rendering a little bit more warmer and you can right away see the uh, micro contrast on uh, is better on the Fuji but uh, the Viltrox is uh, sharp and uh, it renders nice. If you don't compare these pictures side by side, I think uh, Viltrox will go to see it by, just by, uh, by itself. Uh, it's uh, really good and uh, it doesn't uh, lose sharpness uh, throughout the, the picture, especially in the center. I'm more about the, the, the center of the image because I always gonna put the, my subject or most important uh, part of the image in, in the center. And you can see, it, uh, it it looks pretty sharp throughout. The contrast is a little bit better on uh, uh, the Fuji, and um, the colors are pretty much you know uh, close. With uh, I think Fuji has a little bit the greens a little bit more uh, popping. I'm shooting a Canon system and a Fuji for a long, long time. I'm shooting Canon for 25 years, and I think I have Fuji for since it came out. And this is my uh, first third-party lens uh, I ever bought, the, the Viltrox 30mm, because I just needed something for a temporary uh, work, and uh, I just want to see how uh, it will do. And it is a keeper, you know, it's very good. It works really good. It doesn't compare with the Fuji 40mm. I still like this lens better for um, 
80% of the situations, but it's still a good choice. And I'm gonna look like uh, in between lines is something like I wanna, I don't really uh, use all the time and I don't wanna spend the money. I will go with the Viltrox uh, all day long because it looks so far that they are very good lenses. So here you go folks, if you want a, a low light um, lens, very affordable, sharp and a, a very good uh, build quality, Viltrox is the way to go. If you don't care about the uh, open aperture like a 1.4, everything else goes for Fuji. If you're a landscape, uh, architectural uh, photographer, this is the way to go. If you have any questions, please comment uh, below. And of course, if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.